often used where protecting the load is a major concern. They are lightweight and easy to use, making them the first choice for many applications. Two types of synthetic slings are web slings and round slings. For web slings, several types of webbing are available to accommodate the varied needs of web sling users. Most sling webbing has interior yarns that offer reserve strength in case surface yarns have been damaged. Polyester and nylon are the two most common fibers used to make sling webbing. Nylon will stretch approximately 10% and polyester will stretch approximately 7% at rated capacity, both helping to dampen the effects of dynamic loading. If used in a chemical environment, contact the manufacturer for recommendations. Standard sling webbing is available in two strength ratings, 1,200 pounds per inch of width for standard duty or 1,600 pounds per inch of width for heavy duty. 1,200 pound web is approximately 1 8th of an inch thick. 1,600 pound web is approximately 3 16th of an inch thick. Sling webbing is available with edge protecting yarns to help reduce abrasion and cutting of the edge. Sling webbing is also available with abrasion resistant yarns covering all surfaces. Unlike web slings, all of the load-bearing fibers in most round slings are enclosed and protected by a two-ply independent cover. Round slings are made with either polyester or aramid core yarns. Aramid core slings have the lowest sling weight per capacity of all slings, making them especially useful for large capacity lifts. Industry standard colors for polyester round slings designate specific capacities. Webbing slings marking. Identification mark. Working load limit, WLL. Length. Sling material, blue color label, polyester. Manufacture name. CE mark. Safety factor. Advantage of synthetic webbing slings Non-sparking end can be used safely in explosive atmosphere Lightweight and very elastic, reduce shock loading Ability to hug the load closer and this prevent for material from slippage Disadvantage of synthetic webbing slings Susceptible to sharp edges and abrasive surfaces Not to be used at high temperatures the strength of synthetic webbing can be degraded by chemically active environments, consult the manufacturer prior to use. The strength of synthetic web is degraded by exposure to sunlight or ultraviolet light. There are many pad styles and materials available to accommodate most applications. Sewn on pads for web slings might be appropriate when repetitive lifts wear specific areas of the sling. For more versatile use, sliding sleeves offer protection where needed at the time. Quick sleeve style pads can be easily applied to and positioned on the sling. These pads are appropriate for web slings, round slings, chain and wire rope slings. There are many materials that can be used for wear pads. Some of the more popular are synthetic felt, sling webbing, and leather. If being used for the first time, the ability of a wear pad or other protective device to perform effectively needs to be verified. To accomplish this, raise the load only until it is just barely suspended, then lower the load and inspect the sling and protection materials. If damage is evident, change the type of protector, sling or hitch and perform the test again. Repeat the process until the sling and protector have not been damaged. Using synthetic webbing slings safely. Do not attempt lifting operations unless you understand the use of the equipment, the slinging procedures and the mode factors to be applied. Do not use defective slings or accessories. Check the correct engagement with fittings and appliances, ensure smooth radii are formed, do not twist or cross slings and do not overcrowd fittings. Store and handle belt slings correctly.
using synthetic webbing slings safely. Position the slings so that the load is uniformly spread over its width. Position the bite for a choke lift at the natural, 120 degrees, angle to prevent friction being generated. Ensure that stitching is in the standing part of the sling away from hooks and other fittings. Take the load steadily and avoid shock loads. Do not leave suspended loads unattended. In an emergency cordon off the area. Working load limit synthetic webbing slings. Manufacturer shall provide load chart tables of working load limit webbing sling. These slings should be removed from service at once when you find cuts, holes, knots, tears, snags, abrasions, damaged fittings, melting or chemical damage, worn or broken stitching, or missing or illegible tags. If any of these problems occur with your synthetic slings, they should be removed from service immediately. An additional indication that a synthetic web sling has been damaged is exposure of the red core yarns. A sling in this condition should be removed from service immediately. Tuflex round slings should be replaced when cover damage is sufficient to expose the load-bearing inner yarns.